Hello guys and welcome back to another episode here on the 404 Not Found Technical Server. So, we have done it. We have now finished the slime farm. It is completely done, so I hope you enjoyed those highlights at the beginning. And now we can uh, get tons of uh, tons of slime, as you can see right behind me. So, uh, just very simple storage system here. Uh, just some, It's just extremely basic uh, sugar box loader. Then we can take them to the crafting station here and uh, craft them up into blocks. So, uh, we haven't got anything at the moment because we've just been running it for a few uh, seconds. So, I might actually add some glass to the sides of this because I think it's going to uh, possibly be uh, it could possibly break one of the boxes into the wrong location so I'll just put that there so yeah so I don't think these are slice preserving shell blocks like this, so I'm going to add them here I'm going to fail terribly at getting up to here. There we go. But yes, as you can see, we're getting tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of slime, and it doesn't actually cause too many problems in the, in the hoppers here because the hoppers unload quick enough. So yeah, that even though it gets up to a fairly high number, eventually it makes its way back down again. There we go. So let's make its way down. It'll probably go right down to zero for a bit. And the same for ones over here. As you can see, it's all gone. So yeah, so but fine. Let's actually have a check of how many we've got. So that's how many we have. There we go. Getting quite a bit now. And this should produce about 11 and a bit shocker boxes per hour of slime balls, which translates to about 20k per hour so this farm is very very close to uh, it's just a little bit over 20k uh, slime balls per hour 2222 slime blocks per hour so extremely decent slime farm and we can have this now until we decide to build up the larger perimeter one which will be even faster than this significantly faster but yeah for now uh, this is what we need and this will be all uh, this will be good for a while so yeah we can afk this for uh, thing for about two and a bit days and we'll get plenty of slime balls so everything is going very well right now and here we are on the overworld side to show you the farm so here's the fk position this wasn't shown in the time lapse this was added later and all the way down here is the farm itself uh, all those sugar boxes there are actually the resources and uh, i've actually gone ahead and sorted that already so uh, got stone and all the other things some of it's already been sent to storage such as the ores but uh, the rest of it is just there here is the farm itself with complete decoration now and I've also lit the portals so we can actually, of course, use the farm. Now, uh, it doesn't look like there's much uh, because uh, a lot of it's just zombie piglin spawns and then the occasional small slime spawn you can see. And occasionally you can see a big slime spawn. Go a bit further back like this. There, you can see there we've got small slime and now it goes through. Yeah, so the reason the platforms are this large rather than just having one space is because it uses less obsidian that way it was just easy to build and also more resource efficient whilst still maintaining a high efficiency output so and by that it is sending them straight to the nether so as you can see a lot of the time uh, they get sent straight away there we go like that one just flickered so most of them have a one game tick lifetime and uh, that one just fell there which is also fine because uh, we're not going for super super efficiency. So like this slime here might just bat yeah, he's probably gonna bounce off. There we go, yeah, he's off. So he's 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 escaped the farm, which is not the end of the world. Although it looks like oh no, he's gone back in. That's cool. Um but yeah, so so basically about ninety nine point nine percent of everything will uh, be collected. It's not stupidly efficient, so uh, to the point where everything is collected. So that's why there's no blocks in between the portals here, into the gaps to stop them from escaping like that or falling to their death, as you saw there. Uh, it's not the end of the world. And also, the reason we've gone for the super large portals, uh, well, not super large, but the uh, maximum height you can do, uh, well, it's not even maximum height, actually, it's uh, close to it. But the reason we've gone for these larger frames is, again, it uses less obsidian. And uh, we've got the turtle leg killing system here, anyway, to kill those piglins. Now, uh, it would be better, uh, so, but the ones over here will actually despawn Im immediately, so that side is not necessarily needed for the wither roses. But over here, this side you can see there's quite a lot of drops here uh, and you could argue that this is a slightly 
inefficient way of doing things because uh, we've not got items here or like more laggy way of doing it but don't really care too much uh, it's not going to be it's not going to kill the server you can see the server's running quite well and there's me random and, sl and this uh, slime bot on right now and random's the one that's in the never and so uh, it's actually going uh, pretty pretty well so all, ha all, all happy here uh, with the progress of this and now we can begin working on some other things Okay, unfortunately, twice now we've got a zombie piggly drop getting into the storage system, which is really annoying because it didn't happen in uh, designing. So I'm going to have to slightly rework it a little bit. Uh, however, we have got quite a bit of uh, slime box now. So there's the ones that have been crafted up by Sharp, and then the rest of them are here. So all good so far. There's no more balls in there because we just crafted them all up. But uh, that's the advantage of using shocker boxes with this because we can just put all the shocker boxes in here and all of the shocker boxes of uh, balls will get used up. So you see here, we've got some empty ones. We'll put back in the system later. But yeah, so essentially, I feel like the easiest way to modify this is either to make a mixed shocker box uh, loader or add uh, maybe more loaders. But then again, if I add more loaders, it will still have the same problem. So I think what's going to be best is to make this a mixed shocker box loader. So I want to go ahead and quickly do that in uh, creative okay this is the slice design i've come up with and it doesn't change the amount of chests we need it doesn't change the positioning of any of this it all it does is just shift the logic elsewhere so this is a mixed shocker box loader and essentially it now changes the comparative from being here where it's measuring the uh, input from the box which if it's just one type of item will work if it's multiple items which in this case it turns out to be with the uh, piglin drops then it will not work it will uh, start building up and this will clog up and then we're not going to be collecting any slime balls which is not good but by comparing the hopper here we will so as soon as this starts to go over a certain level so in this case uh, right now the redstone's at one once this goes and gives a reading of two so when there's one item going through at least this will be at one so this way it doesn't activate when we're just having items coming flowing through but when it gets to a certain level this uh, uh, this hopper which i don't know the value but it won't be uh, full then it will go to two and it will activate this entire system so we've got a, a monostable here just so that it will only activate when this turns on for the first time not for the second time and this only works in this configuration so we're going to have a shocker box here if we don't have a shocker box here it is not good at all right i'm going to also put some empty shocker boxes in so let me just put in uh let's go with five for now which will just fill up the dropper here, for the looks of it. Yep. And I've just realised I've not actually placed the hopper I need here. There we go. Right, so uh, that should be enough. It will power this dropper and that dropper, which will then go into that one. And so with this, so hopefully that doesn't cause any misfires. And it, the more important thing here is that it powers the piston here. So let's give this a test then, shall we? So let's put uh, let's put the slime balls here. This starts to fill up, and hopefully in a minute it will activate. Yeah, that did not work. The reason it didn't work is because we need the. Uh, is that still? Ah. That's because that went up to free. Yeah, that's because that went up to free. Right, okay. Uh, but it did power it again, so... Ah, that's not good. Because <laughs> it's gone down to two. So yeah, so this has not worked. Damn. Right, okay. Let's keep tweaking a little bit. I'm hoping by putting this repeater on three ticks that I will now get this to fire back and forth and that will fix the issues here. So uh, let's just put in uh, 43. That should be fine. So this will fill up, and then hopefully this will activate and deactivate. Ooh, there we go, that worked. Right, okay, cool. Now you might be thinking, well, it's gone over here, so that hasn't worked, but it will work because there'll be glass blocks here. So I'll put glass blocks here in the overworld, and that's not right. And okay. Hmm. No, that, that didn't work. <laughs> Not the most elegant, but this should do the trick. Okay, let's now try this. So there's three needed there. Let's just put another stack in. And I didn't put an empty shocker box in. Ah! So let's put 
an empty shulker box there. I should start unloading, although this will start going down. And then this should start going down once this has gone down. There we go. So that's starting to go down. And this should now be back at 14. Yep, there we go. And this is going to start to go down, and that means that, that is starting to get filled up. Cool. Right. Cool. This is going to work. And there we go. We have now finished the slime farm and properly got the new shulker box loaded in, and it is now running. And we shall look at this again in a few days time now it's time to go ahead and do something else okay we're not going to do something else we have had to fix this again uh, I say fix change it so all I did when I changed this to be from measuring it from the hopper to instead of the sugar box is I shifted the problem from the sugar box to the hopper it was still trying to measure full signal strength which meant that if I had a gold nugget or a rotten flesh there just one of those and full four full four stacks of slime balls yeah, it wouldn't work. It'd still just be stuck, and you start getting hoppers. I've gone with a simple solution. All I've done is put it in a sort of makeshift item sorter, or just a filter, really, where I put shulker boxes here because shulker boxes can't be pushed into shulker boxes, so they make the perfect item filter here. And here you can see that we've got uh, a shulker box that isn't full, and the shulker box isn't going in. So now we'll get items coming in. So at the moment, everything's still just slime balls, and we've got you on flash your gold nuggets coming in which is good but it means that if a slime ball is here for example and a gold nuggets here or one flash is here then this will start filling up now that it doesn't take into account the fact that oh actually think yeah good point it doesn't actually take into account the fact that there, there'll be, there could be a rotten flesh and there could be a gold nugget in the same two slots hmm. I think the, the chances of that happening are extremely unlikely, so I feel like we'll only do that if it actually does occur. But for now, we've, eliminate, we've eliminated most of the problems, so uh, hopefully it shouldn't start clogging up. But that is something to keep in mind now, <laughs> the little, little thing there. Um, anyway, uh, the reason I've used respawn anchors is because I wanted to have it such that if you had one gold nugget here and, say, a stack of items here, it would then activate. Uh, it would be slightly less than one stack of items in this slot, but if you had, like, a... But essentially it is if we had a different item than a slime ball in one of these slots and then a stack of the other item, then it will start activating. So uh, that's why it went with the respawn anchor. It gives a signal strength of 11. It gives a signal strength of 11 with this configuration where it's not it's not quite fully charged. But still, that is why we've gone ahead and done that. Okay, I think it's safe to say now that we can go ahead and do something else. But I think I'm just going to quickly show you the crafting process to this. So at the moment here, we've got completely full shulker boxes of slime balls so I'm just going to go grab all of them put them into here and they start filling up there all we do is grab the slime balls here and now I've got a slightly unfull infantry so I'm just going to get rid of all my rockets there we go grab that, grab that activate, get a new sugar box this was designed by Old Mango, I'll link the video in the description and then I'm going to use item scroller, which means that I can just do control C, and after a bit of time, there we go, it crafts it. So it's got a bit laggy yet now, actually, in 1.17, but item scroller still works. So grab all those, craft it all up. There we go. And keep going until we're completely done. So yeah, so that's how we, we craft up all the blocks. And yep, now it's just a matter of fact of just laying it, just waiting for it to uh, fill up these chests and then craft some more, and uh, that should be enough for, for us for now. So yeah, right, cool. Let's go and do something else now, and I'm, re I'm and I'm and I mean this for real now. Okay, I am now going to tackle a task that has been put off by quite a lot of people, including myself, and that is to clean up the Never Hub. We're going to now remove all of these blue ice paths because we well we don't use them, and also it. Uh, causes spawning to occur so uh, I've, I think that some of the stuff over here is in the basalt deltas and there we have issues with the magma cube spawning when we turn the mob switch off so it becomes a bit of a pain to even just like move around here when we are actually yeah, have the mob switch off so I'm going to go ahead and just remove all of those because just like I say just completely useless uh, another thing I'm going to do is remove unnecessary portals so we've got a portal here that goes to uh, a zombie spawner that we're never probably going to use again 
so there's no need to have it anymore and then uh, anything else that I deem is unnecessary I will also remove uh, the hoglin farm here needs to be removed there's a magma cube farm over there that needs to be removed we don't need a magma cube farm really we uh, aren't it's not it's not essential and or a must need uh, we currently can just uh, craft magma cube uh, magma cream using our slime farm and our blaze farm and that way uh, we can you know get magma cream and then and therefore magma blocks renewably still so uh, it's not the end of the world getting rid of it uh, as for the hoglin farm uh, we don't uh, need a uh, hoglin farm at the moment we've got plenty of food so once that gets low we'll start we'll build a more efficient hoglin farm uh, which will be a bit more permanent and in a better location and another thing we need to do is uh, actually have a better coded sort of like system for the never hub so i'm going to use carpets to color code directions to go to every single thing in the in the never and so we've got blue one here for example i'm going to remove it and replace it where with a more centralized one around here because this is the portal to our current temporary storage um it's not finished well it's technically not currently uh, our current temporary storage it's our next temporary storage because we need a better one because uh, that one there goes to the original trading hall and temporary storage and this is going to be the new temporary storage and i won't show it off until it's technically done the filters just need to be done and hype is going to be doing that later um, but once that is done i will show it off and yeah so anything else i will remove so those amethyst blocks i'll remove and place with carpets and same with the golden pressure plates that go over to the map district over there those will all get replaced so I'm uh, going to do a little bit of just, it's just essentially uh, some things that need doing. And I'm just going to go ahead and roll a time lapse of me going ahead and removing everything. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed that time lapse. I have now finally finished all of the carpet placing for each of the things on the server. So it's not everything, it's uh, 17 things here, just the main things we've got. Even some things that we're actually currently working on, but actually haven't uh, even you know finished. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and show you them all right now. So we've got slime farm, then we've got the amethyst farm. So some of them are weird, they go off like this in other directions, but I wanted to have it all in the one sort of area here. So we've got the Amherst farm, then we have the Guardian farm, then the Braid farm and the Light Suppressor put them in too because uh, that way uh, you just combine them going over to there. Then we've got the Tree farm, then we have the Iron farm, then we have Spawn which is the simplest one, it's just <laughs> straight in front of us where the water is. Uh, then we've got the Mob switches, then we've got the Gold farms because we've got two, we've got the XP one and we've got the Drops one. Then we've got the Piglin Mob farm, Barring farm. Uh, the wheat farm, the map district, and the moss block farm, which is that hole we started in the last episode, but uh, no work has been done on that since. Uh, oh, uh, no, there's a little bit of work has been done, but I'll show that off in a 
next episode, not this one. Uh, now it says EOL mod farm, we haven't actually started that, but we have uh, removed the entirety of the XP farm that we were originally going to build on that perimeter there, so that's that perimeter, but uh, it's not not done at it. It's not done at all. So uh, this is just to insinuate that that's what it's going to be. And we have the honey farm and we have the place farm. So all of those, and you can see that they're just going in each different directions. With most things going off in this sort of direction, we don't have that many things going in these directions. Only the moss block farm, which is right there, and the amethyst farm, which is over there. So it seems to be we we, we preference the south here uh, for some reason. But yeah, that's essentially it, right? Um, but yeah, so that's done. So we now have a bit of a nice never. But yeah, this is to have it before we start on a proper never hub with piston bolts and the, and, and the like. Right. With that, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I shall see you again real soon. Bye bye.